Welcome to the wonderful world of reading. In this I can read story, Vivi loves science, wind and water. You will be going on a fun adventure. Are you ready to read? Here we go. Vivi listened to the wind howl. She watched the rain splash against her window. It was a stormy night, but Vivi felt safe and warm tucked in her bed. Did you hear the storm last night? Vivi asked at breakfast the next morning. Yes, said Vivi's mother. It was a big one. I heard Ranger Earl needs volunteers to help clean up the beach, said Vivi's father. Let's go, Vivi jumped up from the table. Graham can come too. When Vivi and Graham got to the beach, they couldn't believe what they saw. There were bottles covering the dunes. There were cans on the sand. And there was debris everywhere. The beach was a mess. It also looked completely different. Where are the tide pools? asked Vivi. What happened to the dunes? asked Graham. A big storm can change the shape of the land, Ranger Earl explained. But how? Vivi asked. Storms can cause erosion, said Ranger Earl. What is erosion? asked Vivi. Erosion is when natural forces, such as wind or water, move or wear away rock or soil, Ranger Earl said. Erosion can change a coastline and create rivers and canyons. Wow, said Vivi. Like the Grand Canyon? That's right, said Ranger Earl. Vivi and Graham took a break to have a snack. Ranger Earl told them about other famous examples of erosion from around the world. Mammoth Cave, Elephant Trunk Hill, White Cliffs of Dover, Erosion can happen very quickly, like with this big storm, she said. Or it can take a very long time, even millions of years. Ms. Cousteau, Vivi and Graham's science teacher at school, was helping to clean up the beach too. Hi, kids, said Ms. Cousteau. Did you know that the storm filled in the tide pools? Vivi asked her. Ranger Earl told us how wind and water can change the shape of the land, Graham said. Look at the new dunes. They were caused by erosion, said Vivi. You got it, said Ms. Cousteau. Ocean waves are a powerful force, and so is the wind. Graham and Vivi worked hard to clean up the beach. They picked up the bottles. They hauled away the cans and they collected the garbage. It took all day. Luckily, many people from their community pitched in and helped. The next day in science class, Vivi and Graham told their friends about how the beach had changed because of the storm. Yesterday, Graham and Vivi learned about erosion, Miss Cousteau said. Today, they will do an experiment to show us how wind and water can move sand. Miss Cousteau gave everyone a worksheet. She gave Vivi and Graham the materials for the experiment. They had two containers, sand, water, and a straw. Earth science is the study of how the earth changes over time, Miss Cousteau said. Wind and water are important forces on earth. Graham dumped sand into one container, making a small hill. 
first, we will talk about water, he said. Did you know that water erosion creates rivers and streams? Vivi asked. Water can also carve out caves and hills and make cracks in the rocks, Graham added. Vivi picked up a container of water. Watch what happens when I pour water on the sand. I'm pretending to be the rain, she said. See how the water ran down the hill? Graham said. It pushed the sand out of the way and made a river. That's erosion, Vivi exclaimed. That's so cool, said Mia. Graham dumped a pile of sand into the other container. Now we will talk about wind, he said. Did you know that wind helps make sand dunes at the beach? Vivi asked. And some sand dunes in the desert are thousands of feet high, Graham added. Taller than the tallest buildings in the world, Vivi said. This time, Vivi used the straw. She blew on the sand. I am pretending to be the wind, she said. <sighs> See how the wind moved the sand? Graham said. Look, Mia pointed. The pile of sand changed shape. <sighs> I think erosion is cool, Benji said. It is. But sometimes erosion can be dangerous, said Miss Cousteau. For example, sand dunes are important because they keep water from traveling inland and flooding towns and homes. I bet that's why we can't walk on the dunes, Vivi said. Miss Cousteau nodded. That's right. We don't want to crush the plants that hold the sand dunes together. On Saturday, Vivi and Graham went back to the beach. Look, the tide pools are here, said Vivi. Good point. The wind and waves from the storm moved the sand in, Ranger Earl said, and the water from the tide took the sand away again. Without erosion, we wouldn't have the beach, Graham said. Vivi smiled. Without science, she said, we wouldn't know how things work. Science is the best. Vivi loves science. Erosion experiment. Erosion occurs when the Earth's surface is worn away by wind, water, or ice. This experiment takes a closer look at wind and water erosion. Materials. Two containers, sand or loose soil, a jug of water, a cup, a straw or straw-shaped tube. Wind erosion. One, pour sand into one container and pile it into a small hill. Two, to simulate the wind, point your straw at the hill and blow air through it. What happened to the hill? What effect did the wind have on the hill? Three, now flatten the hill and try the experiment again. Did the sand move as much when the ground was flat? Four, rebuild the hill and try adding rocks or plants and then blowing again. What happened? Did you get just as much erosion as before? Water erosion. One, pour sand into one container and pile it into a small hill. Two, to simulate the rain, 
pour water onto the top of your mountain. What happened to the hill? What effect did the water have on the sand? Try adding rocks or other objects to see if they change or slow the pattern of erosion. What happened? Did you get as much erosion as before? Having fun with wind and water. What created these places on Earth? Wind, water, or both? A valley. Wind or water? Dunes. Wind or water? Caves. Wind or water? Canyon. Wind or water? Glossary. Deposition. When the material that has eroded is deposited in a new area. Earth science. The study of the planet Earth, including its weather. Erosion. The wearing away of land by water, wind, and even ice. Water. The liquid that forms the oceans, lakes, rivers, and rain. Wind. A current of air that moves across the Earth's surface.